Josh Brolin's cable workout. Getting started with some Arnold Press, four sets, 10 reps with drop sets. Josh Brolin did a lot of drop sets. That was one thing that his program included. Drop sets, drop sets, drop sets. I don't know, for some reason he just loved drop sets. I don't know <laughs> why, but they are good, don't get me wrong. But uh, And it's just kind of pushing your muscle past that fatigue point, which is really great. So if you haven't done them, you should try them out. So they, they work. It sounds like something like a character like Cable would do is push himself past the known limits of normal men. And it did push us past our uh, limits. I really did love this workout. As you're gonna see, like Brandon said, there's lots of drop sets, but there's also some unique stuff thrown in there as well, which gave me a good shoulder pump. I always feel like that's one muscle group for me personally is a little behind. So anything I can do to kind of help maximize that is great. So thank you, Josh Brolin. Yeah, it's very helpful. It's really hard getting your shoulder sore. It's where I don't know if you guys have kind of ever went through that um, or experienced that yourselves, but for me personally, much like Huston was just saying, where it's kind of feels kind of hard to get a really good shoulder workout or have your shoulder sore the next day, something about it. But this workout definitely should do the trick because pushing your muscles past fatigue is uh, guaranteed getting uh, getting soreness in, involved. So uh, <laughs> it was damn good. And of course, we're gonna involve some cables in there. I mean, it's, Goddamn, you gotta have workout. cables in the cable workout, damn it. And it can be a little hard because there is three heads to the deltoid or shoulder, so you wanna make sure that you're hitting all three heads, that you don't focus too much maybe on the front or anterior, or maybe a little bit more on the posterior back. And in this workout, we are hitting all three, and it definitely was taxing. That's why they call it 3D delts, it's three heads. Yeah. The D stands for delts, so it's kinda, that's one of the kind of good ways to remember how many heads are in the deltoids there. Yeah, the supersets, can't forget those. Can't be a superhero without supersets. I don't know if Cable's not really a superhero, but he's super badass, let's just say that. And we're throwing this unique one in, lateral circles, one I had actually never done before. It was very enjoyable, especially when superset it, because by the time you get done with this one, you were like, whoa, I need that rest time. Rest times for us typically are about 60 seconds. That's another thing that you wanna remember when doing a workout like this, especially a superhero workout, because if you're going after that superhero physique, you wanna keep the rest times short. You don't wanna do a superset like this, right up to another one, and then take like, you know, five minute rest. Sometimes you'll see guys in the gym, they're talking, they're walking around. They tell people, oh, I'm in the gym three hours every day, but they're maybe only working out 30 minutes. So for us personally, we like to get in in there, bust out these workouts, then get the hell out. Damn right. You got the the um, most embarrassing exercise included, which is the cable front raises. It really is one of the world's most <laughs> embarrassing exercises. A guy like Cable is very confident, so for him, he's like, hey, whatever. I'm gonna make this look good. We tried our best as well. So it will be exciting to see how Josh Brolin does as Cable. I was actually, I gotta say, very impressed. Sometimes casting decisions can be a little weird, but he looks like he is gonna fit the part well. So I'm really excited to see how that goes into the Deadpool world with that humor. Are they gonna keep him like, you know, the gruff, humorless dude? And then they'll have him paired up with Deadpool, or I don't know, I guess we'll see. I th yeah, I think he, he got a good look, and man, obviously he put in a lot of work in the gym because at first, you know, you've seen him in his past movies and doesn't really look like the physique of Cable, and and, uh, and then all of a sudden he started posting his Instagram shots of him looking pretty jacked, and like, all right, this guy can pull it off. The haircut, and you got the, the first publicity, like a uh, publicity, publicity still of, yeah. of him as Cable. It's like, all right, yeah, definitely looking cool. And so now, going on to the barbell face pulls, one of our favorite right into the reverse flies uh, on the bench there. So this is kind of like a posterior delt blast right here. Oh yeah. And you don't want to hit your head on the bar as you're performing the exercise. You can get a little carried away. You can get pretty excited. Like, I want to be cable now. But you gotta, because <laughs> it's one rep at a time, slow and controlled. And speaking of back to Josh Brolin, the guy basically is a living, um, character of what I would imagine to be like, you know, a 1950s cigarette commercial dude. So he's definitely got, <laughs> he's definitely got the look. And um, I think the attitude too. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, and he's a Goonie for God's sake. I mean, come Can't on. forget that. I so know. I, shit, Goon I almost forgot Goonie, that. Goonies never die. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Josh Brolin, for keeping the Goonies alive. Yeah, keeping it real. On to some triceps. So we got the shoulders out of the way, uh, pumped. And then now we're going right into triceps. And shoulders and triceps go pretty well together anyways. They're kind of like a complementary muscle group because 
the shoulders are pushing exercise or a lot of them can be pushing and in pushing exercise the triceps can be a secondary muscle group so the triceps are already kind of worked into it um, ready to go and uh, we implemented some cross bench tricep dips right on supersetted with the uh, standing french press and not only do the two muscle groups complement each other they're also complementary in general for someone like Cable who's gonna have you know a lot of shots, you see him with the tank top and everything, what are you gonna be seeing? You're gonna be seeing a lot of the shoulders and a lot of the arms. So that's why he primarily focused on those muscle groups and we as well today are focusing on those as well because they're very visual, very aesthetic muscle groups. If you're wearing a tank top or something, that's like I said, that's the first thing you're gonna see. That doesn't mean those are the only muscle groups you could focus on, but if you're gonna be a superhero or at least in a superhero movie, you wanna focus on the things that the audience is gonna see. So it makes sense. Yeah, I think that's what usually most of these workouts are, arms. I mean, that's funny. When you kind of look into it, they really focus on arms because that is definitely the focal point. You know, because they got their costume on and stuff, and a lot of times it'll just be like on a cutoff or you know, like Thor, for instance, we did, did that workout, and it's his arms. And the same with Cable, you know, he's going to be carrying big guns, and he's going to be pushing his bicep right up against the gun, and it's just going to, you know, it's right center screen. You know? That's another trick we noticed back in the day with Predator and Arnold. If you notice, they even get more size on their bicep because what they'll do is they'll take the gun and their arm and then they'll squeeze it up against it like this to like, you know, get that real, real <laughs> side. And you're like, oh, you little bastard. It's the same thing when you cross your arms for photos. Yeah. A little trick there if you didn't know it. And then you yeah. just push on your biceps and look twice as big. It's 10% fitness, 90% lighting and angles. You got to remember that. It's very important. <laughs> On right. to some seated rows here. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a compound for the biceps, much like the cross bench tricep dips uh, was a compound for the triceps. Now we're going on to the seated underhand curl uh, rows for the biceps here. So we usually, you know, it's good to kind of include a compound exercise to kind of overload the biceps or triceps. And then in this case, superset it right into an isolation to just, you know, fatigue the hell out of the muscles. Yeah. It's all about the fatigue. And it was, it, it was fatigued. I enjoyed this workout a lot. I'd love to do it again. I would say this one is a good one. Another one I really enjoyed was Henry Cavill's Superman workout. Really liked that one. One of the, one of the only, as Brandon was saying, superhero workouts that did involve full body was his. So he did a great job. Pretty yeah, that was impressed. That was a lot different for sure. That was kind of more like form function, strength type training where something like this is a little bit more for vanity. But you know, that's what it's, it's, it all depends on the character and I guess the uh, the actor, the person that's training, you know, what their priorities are. And vanity definitely isn't a bad thing because sometimes all it does is you taking a look at yourself in the mirror and going, wow, I'm looking good. And you're not doing it in a way where you're arrogant. You're just saying, hey, my hard work is paying off. I feel great. I look great. And that can be the motivation that you need to keep going in the gym. That's why we really try to keep compounds and isolation. So you are getting the full body workout. You're not neglecting commonly um, forgotten muscles like legs, calves, but at the same time, you are able to do some isolation. So you can go, yeah, it's hard work's paying off. Damn right. And this is, you'll see with the, the uh, curls here, the dumbbell curls, it's a slight variation. Uh, it is a curl with a slight front raise in there too. And a lot of times when you're doing a, a traditional curl, you would, of course, the whole thing is keep your elbows at your side and, and just focus on the biceps. But this is working a little bit extra movement in there, uh, multiple movements where you do get the bicep curl with a little bit of shoulder activation. And so that is on purpose for sure. We're not cheating. I know. I know. We're that's not breaking that's the rules. That's basically what Brandon was trying to say. Yeah. It's like, look, man, if you're looking at this going, what the hell is that thing? It's, Cable is a rule breaker. Yeah, yeah, he is. So that's very that's true. Why. And uh, there we go. So I ain't keeping my goddamn elbows <laughs> at my side. I'm going to do what I want. Exactly. Sloth taught him that one back in the day. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> when he was lifting that boulder, you know, yeah. and put a little bit of that delt activation. Into we need to do a yet. sloth workout. We nice. do. Yeah. Why haven't we done a sloth workout or a Deadpool workout? But we might need your guys' ideas on that one because we'd have to really go all out. I'm thinking like full on Deadpool and Cable costumes on that one. I don't know. What do you guys think? That would be crazy. Like a lot of work. It does sound like a lot of work. <laughs> I know, right? It's like a lot of work, and then sometimes, especially on YouTube, you're like, is it worth it? I mean, we enjoy it, but then, I don't know. Yeah, if if you guys watch it, and you're like, well, why the hell are these jackasses in costumes? <laughs> just, just work out more. Yeah, just work out. Just try to have fun. Work out. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, definitely, it's a badass shoulder shoulder workout, for sure. Definitely yeah, shoulder arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mainly on shoulders, though. That was definitely the focal point. Yeah. So let us know what workout you want to see next. Hope you enjoyed this one. And till next time, stay buff. Yeah.